Well, today at the flying field, we have the Great Plains of Tabria. This is a uh, tail dragger monoplane. It's a two-place airplane, and it's based on the full-size Citabria airplane that was manufactured in the 1960s by the Champion Aircraft Company. The airplane is uh, fully loaded with uh, beautiful details. Uh, it is powered with a uh, DLE 30cc gasoline engine, and it turns an 1810 propeller, which gives it plenty of power, plenty of thrust. The uh, airplane also has functioning flaps, and we have that on an auxiliary channel on our Futaba radio that we're flying the airplane with. It's a really nice airplane. It's IMAA legal, uh, has an 85 inch wingspan. It's covered with a uh, beautiful applied uh, monocoat, and uh, out of the box, it only takes a few hours to put together. A lot of people confuse the Citabria with the Decathlon. And the big difference between these two very similar airplanes is, is that the Citabria has a semi-symmetrical or flat bottom airfoil, while the Decathlon was a more powerful airplane, looked very similar, but it had a fully symmetrical, or as they call a round airfoil, and it could fly upside down uh, as long as you wanted to. Uh, this version here was for more of the basic aerobatics, so you could do loops and rolls, hammerhead stalls and things like that. Uh, where the other one was a fully unlimited aerobatic airplane. This one really was used to get the pilot just exposed to aerobatic flying and also since it's a tail dragger to give them a more experience uh, with a tail dragger airplane. With the engine that it has, the DLE 30 and the 1810 propeller, the Citabria just takes almost no time at all, maybe 25 feet to get off of the ground and it just wants to climb like a homesick angel. In fact, you don't need full throttle to take off at all. It'll easily come off the ground in a very scale-like manner at a shallow uh, incline uh, at about half the three-quarter throttle. So after the loops, we uh, did a series of rolls, and we did point rolls, and we did inverted. Uh, we did uh, barrel rolls and uh, the axial rolls, and everything is very crisp almost effortless, I guess is the word we're looking for. Coming in for the landing, we would dial in one flap as we were coming around, and then when we're on final approach, we put in the second bit of flap, and we do a little bit of a push to keep the nose down, and the flaps really do a good job of preventing uh, any excess speed from building up. You get down close to the runway, you just start throttling back, and then just pulling back the elevator until it lands in a three-point uh, position and the rollout is, is effortless. Overall, I would say that this is an airplane that's great for an intermediate to an expert pilot. Uh, certainly a beginner could build this airplane, and if a beginner were to fly it, all he would need is the help of a more experienced pilot to help him out, and uh, it could uh, be, just like the full-size airplane, a very good uh, basic aerobatic trainer.